Hey, so this is going to be a Java um, programming tutorial. I'm going to teach you, well, I'm going to give a basic instruction to programming, teach you some basic programming techniques using Java as an example. So what we are going to do today is we will download the integrated development unit Eclipse, which we'll use. Um, which we'll first install and then use to write our first program today. So what exactly is an integrated development unit, uh, environment? Well, it basically is a, well, an editor specially designed for writing and running the code in uh, well, that one programming language that you want to use. Well, you could basically start programming by opening a text editor, writing some code, saving it, and then running it. Uh, compiling it and running it, but you always have to go um, through the command line of your system and you would always have to do it manually. So an integrated development environment, well it takes that away. You simply have to press a run button and um, then you're good to go. So from the command line this will look like this. I wrote a program um, called start tutorial and we'd have to um, use the command java c um, tutorial to compile the file start tutorial dot java now that it's compiled we can use the command java to run our start tutorial file which will then give the output that we coded. Well, that's fine, I guess, and well, some time ago that was the, the only way you could do it. Um, but if you, you always, you'd always have to save, compile, and then run by the command line whenever you made changes to the program. And with an integrated development environment like Eclipse, you don't have to do that. You simply um, hit the run button. Furthermore, um, using a text editor won't show you any mistakes you make. Well, of course, there will be some kind of spell checking, probably, but well, you could write nonsense and the, the, the code, the program wouldn't compile and wouldn't run. And um, integrated development environments support certain programming languages and check for spelling and syntax uh, and show you if your program will be able to compile and run um, and will then translate it to a language the computer understands so to speak. Um, so we'll just go ahead and download Eclipse. Um, we'll go to eclipse.org select download and just choose Eclipse IDE for Java EE developers um, for 32 or for, uh, 64 bits. Um, I already went ahead and downloaded it in order to save some time and I just extracted um, also to the desktop and this is probably going to take a couple of minutes so I'll just skip ahead. Okay, so um, now the installation is almost complete, and now it is complete, and um, we're just gonna close all of this, and we're gonna go into the Eclipse folder, and we're just gonna start the application right here. Um, so as you can see, this didn't really work. Well, to write Eclipse, we need a Java runtime environment or Java development kit um, to be able to use it. So, what we're going to do is we'll simply go and um, uh, wait a second. We'll simply go and download the Java runtime environment from the um, Oracle homepage. Um, no, not right now. And we want.
want the Java runtime environment for Windows. Um, and we'll just gonna download the executable file here. Um, which will also take a couple of seconds and I'll be right back. Okay, now here we go. The download is complete and we'll just run it. The usual installation of any software. Most of you will probably have the Java runtime environment already installed and the installation of course is going to take a couple of seconds um, to finish. Um, not too much. Uh, now let's try again. Well this time um, we have all the files we need and we'll just store the clips. And well, we'll create a workspace here and we'll just use this as default and don't want to be asked again. And then we'll start Eclipse. Um, Eclipse is always kind of slow in starting. There's lots of files on the workbench and yeah, especially when you create it, it takes a while. So this is the um, well, a welcome screen, so to say. And We'll just skip that and go to the workbench. And well, this is the view we're going to work with all the time. Uh, I don't want to um, go into any details explaining every menu. Um, I think we'll get to that when we get to that. And um, we'll just say we'll create, we go to file, we say new. And um, we'll create a new project here. And we'll say we want a Java project. And that will create a project. And we'll call it tutorial. Because, well, this is our tutorial. Um, we're gonna, yeah, we don't need anything else. Um, yeah, and we want to open the um, other perspective because that will give us the development um, interface that we want. And so we'll have a tutorial project here. And what we now need is new Java package, which is the package button here. And um, we'll just call it basics. Package are basically um, subfolders in our projects. And note that. Um, um, Project names always start with an uppercase letter in um, Java, and package names always always start with a lowercase um, letter in Java. We'll create that, and now that we have our very first folder, we'll create a class. Classes are basically um, all the files. Every file that we can run is one um, Java class. Um, and well, this is our first um, program. And note that um, class names start with a um, with a uppercase letter again. And you'll just click finish. And um, Eclipse is pretty smart. And Eclipse will um, create the class body that you will need. Um, Later on in this tutorial, we'll talk about what this means and the stuff that we write here, especially the, the static body that is always the same. Um, but for now, we're just gonna um, go with the flow. So we got our class, and everything we write now is in this class body. And well, at runtime, um, when the class is compiled, run um, the compiler. Um, well, it's looking for a main method that it can run. Uh, and the main method in the class stores always the same. It's always public, static, void, main. And then on brackets we'll have string. Um, um, uh -huh, okay. Uh, okay, wait a 
a second. I'm just gonna have to find out how the other brackets work. Right, sorry, um, I don't usually code on Windows. Um, so what we'll need are these um, braces and then this one, and then we close it. And right, this is already in place. Um, which are these curly braces? And what um, Eclipse also does is quite clever. Every brace bracket you open is um, automatically closed um, so that you don't have to do that manually but it won't get in your way. Okay, so um, well, this is basically all we need to run our first program. Now, when we run it, um, nothing happens. Um, we're just going to save it. And um, well, the console um, the console opens down here, but, well, there's nothing in it because our program doesn't do anything. So, well, the most basic thing we can probably do is do system output, text output, um, and we do that with the command um, system out print line. And then in braces we'll um, put text, and text is always inside the um, is always inside those double quotes and then the brace closes and then we do a semicolon here which will, is always at the end of the of a line um, um, well if there's a command that's ended in there so um, well we're basically done with our first program we'll save it and then we'll run it and what we'll have, we have the, the text output that we had in the in the window early on, which was like this. Well, it's, basically, it's the same thing here. We'll have simple text output. And this is where we're going to continue next time. We're going to, um, I'm going to show you how to work with variables and run some code with actual real functionality. Uh, I hope you liked it and, and make sure to Give me some feedback um, so that I can, well, I'll be sure to continue this. Thanks.